Hey you guys, I'm back. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos lately, but nothing's wrong with that. Um, maybe next year I'll do Vlogmas. I actually have some shit going on that I can be doing, but for now we'll just keep it very, very basic. Put a pillow behind me back because it's like aching a little bit. Maybe because I'm getting old. I don't know. It was just aching because I didn't have any support behind my back or whatever. But, um, let's get into this plan, right? That's what you're here for. Um, today is Sunday, December 10th, and it is weighing days 8.50. I haven't took my apple cider vinegar. I figured I'd do it on camera. I've already put it in this bottle. Shake it up a little bit. And I'm also eating on these apples that I purchased, I showed you guys. They're really good. You get three servings in the bag and about 14 slices each. And just really good to snack one. I love apples anyway. I'm an apple lover. So, yeah. Eat on this while I do this video. Ooh. Green one's really sour. You can actually see my hair today. I need to do something with it. Put some oil in it, but shit still just. I think I need a flat iron. I haven't done that like. A few months, so I guess we'll do that today. But first things first, apple cider vinegar. I already used some purified water, and we are going to start it. It always smells a little janky. It does smell a little janky. I'm not gonna lie to y'all about that, but. My skin is shining today. These eyebrows gotta get done soon. Done, gotta get done soon. I'm not editing this video, so everything I fuck up and y'all hear me say, y'all just gonna hear it today. Ooh, a little aesthetic. I probably won't take my medicine till 9.30 because I took this a little late. I got most of it out here, so. There's a little bit more and you can feel a little burning in your throat. It's a little acidic. Okay, I need some water. Hold on, guys. Uh, sorry. Oh, shit. I needed some water. And the laptop is in my lap. That's the reason we call it that we call it a laptop or whatever. It was a little burn back in my throat. Y'all ever feel that when y'all do it? I felt a little burn. The taste don't bother me. It's just the acid. Got mine. Get some water. I am gonna work on getting some straws because I'm gonna fuck my teeth up. You're already fucked up. I don't understand how people can drink it straight because I was scared for my teeth. I don't care about the taste. Taste don't even bother me. I promise you. It's just the aesthetic. But. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, this is 150 grams of potassium. That's good. I need my potassium back from this shit. Mm. I always read your nutrition labels. I got this for 89 cents. I should have bought a lot more because they were cheap because they, you know, you're supposed to use them by a decent or four. And I bought them on the eighth, but it tastes really fresh. Really fresh. I love apples. Okay. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What's popping? <laughs> How y'all doing? <coughs> Funny thing is, FYI, I've been saying what's popping before Cardi B said what's popping. Yeah. That's how old I am. <laughs> okay, so you're here for the weigh in. Thank you. I'm glad you came. Take a seat. You know, we got some refreshments to the side. Um, 
this weigh-in, I'm very happy about. I'm very shocked because I actually only uh, worked out, I believe I only worked out three days. Three days, I believe, I only worked out. I don't know what that was. So, let's just talk about some goals right now. Okay, so, I started at 286. Um, I'm actually, well, first, let's just go to the weigh-in. Um, I started at 286. And actually, I am 224.6 this week. That's when the applause would usually come in. You know, a little applause. Um, I'm down three pounds, which I'm very, very, very shocked. Because I remember there are some weeks where I used to, you know, bust my ass. Like, like weeks like this. You guys see? Can you guys see that? Like, this week, weeks like that, like, I literally was working out every day, and I just, you know, I could pull a good three. But it's really nice, you know, to pull some consecutive threes. So I'm down three pounds. Um, my body fat started at 44, which was morbidly obese. Um, it's now 35. Can, can, ew, on my Fitbit thing. When it comes to my Fitbit, it says that I'm 35 body fat, percent body fat, which I'm very happy because I'm drifting from that fucking 44 to 50-ish. I, I don't want to be 50. I wasn't 50, but I was 44, and I was close fuck enough to 50. So it's just really good to see them going down because, you know, you don't want to be in a range. I'm still considered, I think it's, I think it's considered obese. Not morbidly, but obese now. And then when you hit... 30, it's overweight, and below that, it's just average, 25%. So, definitely want to get down to the 25, but I'm really happy that it is 35, because I came a long way. I think it actually tells me how much body fat I am down on my, um, my fitness pound. If you see me looking all over the place, it's because I'm looking at my various apps, like on here, you guys. You can see I put it on my fitness pal that I lost 62.2. Um, if you're not following me on fitness pal and you have a fitness pal and you would like to follow me on fitness pal, mine is yellow capital Y yellow underscore China capital C H Y N A yellow China. Um, here you go. I can actually show you guys if you want to follow me on my fitness pal. I'm on it. I'll be on it, girl. So you know, definitely. Or boy, definitely hit me up and, you know, we could be some fitness pal friends. Motivate each other. But, yeah, um, that's what, it, on my fitness pal, it's saying, yeah, I just told you guys on my Fitbit, it says I'm at 35% body fat. When it comes to my fitness pal and how much body fat I've lost, I've lost 21.7% body fat. Wowzers. In eight months, that's fucking amazing. Never thought that would happen. Really happy about that because body fat, losing body fat is where it's at, you know. You don't want to lose muscle, you want to lose body fat. So, because, you know, if you keep your muscle, lose body fat. You know, you could be looking like Beyonce. A little bit, a little bit, you know. But um, that's what it says here. You guys can see. You know, I'm going to show you the details. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But, um, yeah. So, I've lost 62.2 pounds. I've been wanting to lose 60 pounds for a long time. Hit that 60 pound mark. I feel like I was dwindling these past couple of weeks when Thanksgiving came. Like, I was at 59, 58. Then I went back to 58. And then I went back to 59.2. And I was just sitting there. And then now I have finally got to 62.2. And I'm really excited. And it's making me think about apple cider vinegar. Because I just started that. But I don't want to say that's the reason yet. I do want to wait. Until the next weigh-in to officially say how I feel about the apple cider vinegar and if it has played any role in my weight loss. But we will see. I will continue doing it once a day. Um, two teaspoons and eight ounces of water. And yeah, we'll see. But I want to show you that. Um, as far as when it comes to how much more I have to hit my goal. Because now I'm really starting to. Like, in the beginning, like, I started at 286.6. So, you know, I wasn't really thinking as far as to goal 160. I was thinking more in terms of, you know, oh, I'm just trying to make it, you know, when you first start. You're just trying to look at the closer goals. 
And so now I'm starting to see 160 a little bit. Like before, 160 was all the way up in the clouds. And now I feel like 160 is like, I'm right here, Bia. You're almost there, but you ain't there. But I see you. I see you grinding. So that's how I feel about the 160. Like, 160 see me. She see me. I see her too. So, you know, it's just like we see each other, but, you know, I still got a way to go. So I have about 64.5 pounds to go before I hit my goal, which seems kind of high a little bit. But probably because, like, I have, yeah, that's about, I think that's right. I think my Fitbit's right. I think my goals for my Fitbit is right. I think. I don't know. I got to actually look at this goal because I think it's, but I think 64 is right. Because I'm going to bring this shit up on a calculator because I don't want to be, like, getting to 150 because I don't want to be that small by any means. So I have to make sure these goals are on point. So I am 220. Or, it feels so good to say that. I haven't seen, I didn't even see my, that type of number last time. I did. Last time I did this when I was um, working at my rehab center. I did not see this number last time. I think the lowest I got was, I actually have it on here. Like, let me see. The lowest I got was like, yeah, 240. No, 236. Because that was after I quit that job. So it was 236. So, this is the lowest I've seen, and it's really crazy. So, I have, yeah, 64.6 pounds is correct. So, I have 64.6 pounds more to lose to get to 160. So, that's not too shabby. Um, I do feel like I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to try my hardest to hit that goal. Like I'm going to bust my ass in 2018 because I have January, February, March, April, May. June. I'm really hoping to hit it around June, July-ish. Like, be very fucking close to 160. Yeah. So, we're gonna see. Um, My doctor and I already talked about this. Not going below that, you know. After that, it's just maintenance, which I'm very scared because I've never been in maintenance before. <laughs> it's a bad to say that I've never been in maintenance before. Like, the last time I was 180 when I was playing soccer in high school. But, your girl was looking good. You know, I was, I was looking really good. I'm looking good now, but, you know, I can only imagine, <laughs> hunty, I can only imagine when I'm 160, like, I'm going to try not to do the most, but low-key, I'm going to do the most. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so, excuse me, my nose is, like, running a little bit. Um, So, 224.6 is the weight of the day. Um... Goals for next week. I know PMS is about to pop up. So I know it's not going to be next way in. But the December 17th, I'm looking at my little way in little paper. Y'all know me. Y'all OGs know what this is. Um, and if you're new, this is my way in paper. Um, I keep forgetting that because I keep getting new subscribers. I keep forgetting that they don't know about all this stuff. But that's okay because you won't find out. Because key to love everybody. <laughs> Alright, so this is the old school way in paper, like when I first started, of course I'm not there now, I've dated it, because I wanted to track everything, like I felt like this going around when it came to weight loss, I just really wanted to track everything and just hold myself accountable, the videos help, the tracking helps, I tried everything, apps, everything, I tracked it, but the paper really lets me know, I like the paper, but it's just my way in chart. And I track everything on this, and I look at it as a visual, as a graph, to what I need to do, what I need to change. And I don't weigh myself every day. I weigh myself once a week, my preference, to each its own, if you're on a weight loss journey. Um, yeah, that's my paper. And so I'm thinking, like, probably December 24th might be the PMS time. I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping it comes, like, a couple days later. So I can at least work out, and then I can get my December 31st. No, I said December 20. It's December 24th. That's when I'm thinking the PMS is going to happen. And then um, the December 31st, I'm thinking, you know, I should be able to do those weigh-ins because I want to see how much I lose in December compared to November, which I didn't have a loss. Not surprised because, you know, I was bullshitting. It was my birthday month, and then... It was Thanksgiving. Double whammy. You know? So, 
<laughs> I'm just hoping that I have three more wins this month. So that's how I'm visualizing this. And I'm thinking if I drop three pounds next week. <laughs> if I drop three pounds next week, I'm thinking I will definitely 221, 220. And then for December 24th, if I lose three more pounds, let me see, 20, 19, 18. I can't count. Um, I'll be 218. And then December 31st, three more pounds, I'll be 215. So I'm really thinking I'll probably be around. I really want to be at 200. This is just a three pound loss every week I'm doing. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if the apple cider vinegar is going to kick in and I'll lose more. But I'm just doing a base of three pounds a week and that's 215. But I'm hoping to get around 200 or 207 by the end of the year. Because if I can get like at 200, you know, I'm setting myself up for next year where it will be very attainable, obtainable to get to 160. So, and you know, and I definitely this week I'm going to work on strength training, get back into my strength training, get back into my cardio regimens. Um, I don't work out today because today is my off day, but tomorrow I'm working out and I'll be doing my cardio and I'll be doing some strength. Well, I'll do my cardio and I'll be doing some strength, yeah. Cause I'm, and then the next day I'll just do cardio and vice versa. I switch it up every day. So I feel like start getting back into those workouts, taking an apple cider vinegar, eating what I'm supposed to eat. I feel like, you know, I should be able to hit these goals a little bit quicker. So. We shall see, but down three pounds this week. I'm down 62.2 pounds. I'm so happy. I'm 60 pounds fucking down. I really want to lose 10 pounds this month, so it looks from here that I've already lost six. So if I can lose five more, that'd be really great. That would hit my goal for 10 pounds down this month. So we're going to see. I'm just going to keep adding. Um, Christmas? I don't really eat too much on Christmas. I mean, it's it's a special holiday. Of course, it's Jesus' birthday, but it's just, you know, I don't be gobbling or, you know, we're not really doing a big dinner for Christmas. Um, keep it very basic. So I don't feel like, if anything I get hit with for Christmas is drinking. I haven't had a drink in a while because I had to go to the doctor and all that stuff. I haven't had a drink in a minute. So I think on Christmas Day I'll probably have a drink, which conveniently it is after my weigh-in, so I'm good. I just want to go balls to the wall with it. <clears throat> but 64 more pounds to my goal, which I'm really excited. Um, let me see what else did I want to talk to you guys about. Yeah. Um, let me see. And I also wanted to show you guys with the eating this week. I pretty much, let me see. I'm going to go to the beginning of the week. That's why I'm looking at this. The video will be a little long. You know how I do, y'all. Y'all know I don't do no five-minute videos. So, I just hate them. I mean, I don't hate them. I love watching other people's short videos because they can get to the point quicker than me. But, you know, I just feel like I want to help people. And, you know, I want to let you know what I'm doing. Like, y'all want to know what I did this week, right? So, um, Monday I did exercise. And I was staying within the 1,300 calorie range. I'm looking at my fitness pal. Um, Tuesday, didn't exercise. I stayed within the 1,300 calorie range. So, 1,300 calorie. Wednesday, actually had 2,100 calories. And, yeah, I was eating good Wednesday. I ain't gonna kid you not. I was eating really good Wednesday. I had 2,100 calories from my fitness. That's what my fitness pal was saying. I had 2,100 calories. I ate real good. And I didn't exercise. I was moving around, but I didn't exercise like that. Um, Thursday had 1,500 calories, didn't exercise, so we're going to exercise one day. Then Friday I exercised, and I ate 19, and I burnt 334, and yesterday I exercised, so I exercised three times. I ate 19, and I burnt 515, so, and today I'm eating 1455, and of course I'm not burning anything because it's my day off, but, um, yeah, I did really good with that. So, I'm really happy about that. Um, like I said, goal for next week is to drop three more pounds. I would really like to be in the 220s because I'm trying to get out these. Like, I would like to be 220, 
hopefully moving towards the two teens, the two nineteens, two tens, you know, ish. I'm trying to get out of these two hundreds fucking period. I don't have that much further to go. I don't want to screw that up, so I'm gonna do what I got to do. Um, when it comes to snacking, I'm not going to ignore that. I'm going to allow myself to snack, but snack on good shit. Um, if I really feel like I'm super hungry, I'm gonna. My go-to is beans, like for real. Like that's my go-to. Whenever I get hungry, I definitely pair a lot of my meals with beans and a green. I've gotta have some type of greens in it and some type of beans in it. Um, I'm also like dairy. I don't really mess with dairy. So, there's no cheese or milk. I use almond milk. Um, it's a protein shake. Ooh, today's a protein shake day, so I will have a protein shake after I take my meds. Just in my shaker bottle. And then I'm chilling, and then I'll have lunch, and then I'll have dinner. I don't really know what's for lunch and dinner today, but it's probably something really basic. I might actually do some tuna. No, I think I get to eat an egg roll today, because I bought those mini egg rolls I told you guys about, so I think I'm going to eat those today. Eat at least... Two or four of them. I think two, though. I don't think it's a lot. Let me actually show you guys while I'm up here. But I'm really happy with the weight loss. When it comes to the weight loss part, three pounds next week. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping to get to the low 200s by the end of this year. You know? By the end of this year, I'd be so happy. Like, if I could even be 70 pounds down by the end of this year. Mmm. Yes, honey. So, um, I'm really happy about that. I'm going to eat one of these apples while I'm talking my mouth off. My 21 minute video is terrible. Terrible. But, um, let's see. And for breakfast, is just going to be a protein shake. I might eat a turkey sausage. Might not. If I'm not, these are the protein shake. I'm not hungry. And then, yeah, for lunch, it's four egg rolls, ground turkey. And jasmine rice. Mm. I love my rice. And I mean, like, eating some rice. So, I'm loving the way this is going because I love eating rice. I love pasta. Um, for dinner, this thing is ground turkey and Brussels sprouts. And then, for my snack, I'm eating my sriracha chickpea cheese curls. Mock cheese curls. They're chickpeas. Um, they're good. They're spicy too. Sriracha. I love sriracha. So that's pretty much it. I didn't want the video to be too long. I'm so sorry it's long. I'm not editing it. I'm just gonna let y'all see it. Um, my goal for next week is three pounds. Um, I will be hitting y'all with a what I eat in a day video this Wednesday coming up. Make sure you check it out because I haven't done one of those in a little while, and I think it's time to do one of those. And also be on the lookout for a recipe video December nineteenth too. I would throw that in there. I usually don't tell you guys my schedule, but I want you guys to know so you can like be like, girl, where are that? <laughs> Hold me accountable. And you know I got three weigh-ins this month. So I'm gonna make those happen. Um always comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see. I'm actually thinking about doing some gameplays on here with the Sims. Um let me know in the comments if you guys want to see that. And if you don't, I won't. But I do have a recorder on here that can record a gameplay, so if you want to see my gameplays on Sim and what I'll be doing on there, because I'll be playing on there sometimes, let me know. Because I just definitely want to add more content, but this is the base of it is a fitness, health and fitness channel. It won't, it won't, that won't change. It is going to be a health and fitness channel because I feel like, you know, even when I go maintenance, health and fitness channel, because I definitely want to start, like once I hit my goal weight, I'm really going to think about start training, like do soccer training, get back into that. So get my stamina up, and who knows, maybe I can play for, like, a community team or something, who knows, that's something that interests me, I always wanted to get back and do it, so, yeah, but, um, I'm gonna check out you guys later, and, you know, upload this video, have a blessed, blessed Sunday, hit those goals, don't let nobody stop you from doing your grind, don't let nobody stress you out, because I've been stressed out this whole month, but, you know, you just gotta get it together, do what you need to do, health comes first, you know, keep your mind open, keep your mind lit, because I'm going to tell you, it, 2018 is here, you know, you don't want to be saying like, ooh, you know, I'm going to be snatching 2018, 2018 coming, you ain't snatched, you know, don't, don't do that, because I used to do that to myself all the time, ooh, 2009, I'm going to be snatched, and I never got snatched, so, you know, definitely stick with your goals, I understand holidays and all this stuff is upon us, but, you know, stick with your goals, because, 
you know, so my bodies are built in a winter. That's what they say. So. Maybe they're right. Maybe they're not. So I will holler at you guys later. Peace.